are you watching closely? All right, now in this particular video, I'm going to teach you three shuffles that will absolutely blow people's minds. So make sure you stick around for that right now. All right, my name is Cousin Tino. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to these videos where I teach you how to perform magic with everyday household items. So if you haven't subscribed, do that right now. Turn on the notifications. The teacher trick videos come to you once a week, every Wednesday. You do not want to miss those. But for now, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to teach you three different ways to shuffle a pack of cards. The first shuffle is called the overhand shuffle. So come in nice and close. And let me demonstrate it. You place the cards in your right hand like so. The fingers are on the bottom of the cards and your thumb, your right thumb, is on top in this position, just like that. You're going to use your left thumb to slide one card off at a time into your left hand. Using the thumb of the left hand to slide one card off into my hand, just like this. And you build up momentum. And by bringing the hands together and apart, together and apart, together and apart, you're able to shuffle the cards very, very quickly. Slowing down again, thumb comes over, pulls it over to the other pack. That is the overhand shuffle. Now what's interesting about the overhand shuffle is that if you, if you place a card on top, you're able to take that card and shift it to the bottom. So in this particular case, I'm going to use a different card that way you can keep track of it the entire time. So, same technique, I'm going to shuffle the pack, the overhand shuffle. You'll notice the top card, which happens to be the two of hearts, makes its way to the bottom. Okay, so the top card now is sitting on the bottom. What's really interesting, if I place the top card back on top, two, and I place another card, the six on the bottom, you will see that they actually change positions. So what I mean is this, the top card gets pulled down, that's the two, and the rest of the pack is shuffled. As you make your way through the entire pack, you'll notice now that the bottom card, which happens to be that card, the indifferent card, again, that card will actually make its way to the top, look. With this technique, you're able to control two different cards. All right, so there you have it, the overhand shuffle. It allows you to control a card from the bottom to the top, from the top to the bottom. Practice it, get it nice and smooth, and then you're going to have an awesome technique on your hands. Okay, the second shuffle, the through shuffle. This is what it looks like. That's it. So what you're doing, you're placing the cards into your right hand and you're holding them at the very end or tip. Just like that with the right hand. So 
index finger, pointer finger, and thumb holding the pack of cards. Your left hand is going to grab a portion of the top cards, just like this, and move it into your left palm. Then grab another portion using the index finger and the thumb, pulling it down. Okay, just like that. Once again, once you build up speed and you get it nice and smooth, you're able to shuffle the pack. Now, if you want to control a card again, taking it in a different card, we're going to place it on top. That card will be shifted to the bottom. Watch, using the through shuffle look. And it makes its way down to the bottom. That is the through shuffle. Okay, the third shuffle is the riffle shuffle. It's the most difficult of all the shuffles. This is what it's supposed to look like. Watch nice and closely. Just like that. Okay, to perform this shuffle, you need to cut the pack in half, around about half, just like that, okay? You're going to hold the cards in your right hand with all your fingers, one, two, three, four, and your thumb on the other side. You're going to do the exact same thing with your left hand. One, two, three, four, and your thumb. Now, the idea is that by letting go of the cards slowly, bit by bit, you're going to interweave the cards. So the first thing you wanna do is practice releasing pressure on the pack of cards. And what I mean by releasing pressure is just practice, don't put them together, just with your right hand, just let go of a few cards. Like that. With your left hand, same thing. Just like that. Once you've got that down, you can start to put them together. So you will do them separately one at a time. So maybe my right hand first and my left, like so, okay? Let me show you again. Straighten out those cards. You're releasing the pressure, bit by bit. Releasing the pressure, watch. Releasing pressure of my right hand, then my left, my right, my left, my right, left, until you interweave the cards, okay? But the first thing you wanna do, remember, is you wanna practice releasing the pressure just with your thumb. When you first start, a few things will happen. Too many chunks will come undone. So for example, it might be a little bit sporadic, like boop, boop, boop. In actual fact, I find it very difficult to make it sporadic now. I've been doing this for so many years that I get it quite smooth, but you'll get little chunks, okay? So you've gotta learn to move the cards through your thumb like that, nice and smooth. You wanna get that feeling down, okay? Once you're able to do that, and you get the cards to kind of weave between each other, just like this, in other words, weave between each other, you can perform the next move, which is slowly pushing the cards in, using your thumb on top, your fingers underneath, and kind of stretching the cards up so they make a bridge. Okay, fingers on the bottom, thumbs on top, stretch them and release. What will happen when you tend to do this is the cards will either not link together properly and they will spring out like so, or what will happen is, and that happens all the time, so you're going to experience that, don't worry, pick them back up, start again. This is what you do when you practice. Pick them back up, start again. So I'll show you again. That will happen, that will spring out. So you need to be able to take control of the cards. You've got to practice it. All right, so I'll show you. Don't let them spring out. Next, you need to push the cards together. Push them together. When I mean push them together, push them in and up at the same time. And then release the pressure. Okay? So once again, Fingers are on the bottom, thumbs are on top. You're weaving the cards between. 
You push them together, thumbs on top, push the pressure and release. And that is how you perform the overhand shuffle. Now, it's taken me years to actually practice that shuffle to get it down pat that I can do it every day without even thinking about it. It does take practice, do not be discouraged. You need to practice it over and over again. Some of the simplest magic tricks truly require a lot of practice. In magic, it's really interesting. Most of our techniques are actually hidden. You never see how skillful we really are or how many hours or years it takes. So keep at it, keep practicing the shuffle. It's very kind of, um, kind of a, what would I say? Like it's a, it's a feeling. You've got to have a feeling when you shuffle the cards. You need to understand what they feel like in your fingers, in your hands. When you get that feeling down, you'll be able to perform these shuffles. Not a problem at all. Okay, some tips to perform these tricks. It takes time, it takes practice. Do not be discouraged by how long it may actually take. The more you practice, the easier it's going to get. You don't wanna look like it's really difficult for you to be able to shuffle. It needs to come naturally. You need to be able to talk and move while you're doing it. I suggest you take a pack of cards, place them in your hand, and spend the rest of your time walking around with the cards in your hands. If you're watching TV, have the cards in your hands. If you're walking through the kitchen and you're saying hi to your mom or your dad, wave with the cards in your hand. You need to get used to the cards being in your hands because they need to feel like it's second nature to you. So keep the cards in your hands, shuffle lots, do lots of practice. You don't really need to film yourself in the beginning. It's not really about being exposed or anything like that. It's more about a feeling. It's, it's more about just understanding the touch of the cards. So the more time you spend with them, the better your relationship with the cards will be. Good tip. <laughs> 